Welcome everyone to today's episode on the School of Radiance podcast. This is a very special episode. This is a live Q&A style episode. And for those of you who are listening to the replay, go ahead and check out the show notes and head on over to theschoolofradiance.com to seek out the invitation and the registration area to join these live sessions. They're a lot of fun. It's kind of like business hours in a way. You can ask me anything. And in today's session, we're going to be focusing on clear skin tips. One of the things that happens during especially the changes of seasons is sometimes we're getting exposed to changes in our environment. And what are those? Well, in the spring, we have more pollen. And some of you tuning in might have a little bit of sensitivity to pollen and dander and things like that. So typically in the spring, I'll see a bit of an uptick with things like contact dermatitis. And that presents itself as kind of like redness and irritation around the mouth. And sometimes we can get that around the eyes too. So the scratchy, itchy eyes from the pollen that uh, when the body's actually showing that, And why this is relevant to clear skin is because clear skin is directly related to actually your health status in general, oxidative stress. And I wrote a paper on oxidative stress status and its impacts on the skin aging and the different components of our environment that can contribute to things like pigmentation and more redness to the skin. So when we think clear skin, we want to have a clear complexion of primarily the reds and browns that basically give color to the skin in areas that we might not want. But this also relates to how our eyes look and if there's any redness and irritation around the eyes. So in the summertime, we can get a little bit of that redness and puffiness around the eyes. If you do experience, in the springtime rather, if you do experience that, What I want to suggest is to actually bump up your antioxidant usage. So the concept of the toxic bucket or more technically oxidative stress status is it gets filled up and that can happen with pollen in the springtime and then also in the fall when the leaves are starting to degrade and actually kick up a specific kind of mold in the air. And then there's also the concept of changing with humidity. So in the spring, it tends to, you know, get maybe a little bit more humid. We're outside a bit more. Maybe we're sweating outside a little bit more. And then in the fall and winter, we experience a little bit more dry indoor heating. So let me know in the chat for those of you who are here live. We have a number of of you familiar faces and names, Beata, Delilah, Eunice, Jennifer, Carrie, Laura, Sarah, Tamara, and many more, and those of you tuning in. But think about this for a moment. If you can think back to a time when you experienced a little bit more skin redness, or maybe you experienced more kind of like photo damage, hyperpigmentation, hyperpigmentation, melasma starting to pop up, What were your triggers? What were you doing? What were you eating? What were your stress levels in general like? Was there something that happened in your life? All of these things do contribute to the concept of the oxidative stress or toxic bucket. And this even goes, this can also be related to things like eczema or psoriasis. And if you struggle with eczema or psoriasis, I want you to really pay close attention to what your triggers are. So that could be, you know, stress in your life in general. I know for me this past summer, I went through huge changes and I'm going to be fully transparent of what's going on for me today. But last summer, I moved multiple times. I was exposed to forest fire smoke. I had a lot of really big life transitions that came from making decisions and it was sort of everything all at once in about two weeks and they were all really good things but it was just quite a bit for my system to handle and actually for the first time in my life i had experienced what i would say is kind of like a bit of eczema on my neck 
And what's going on in the neck area? We have all these clavicular lymph nodes right above the collarbone. And our lymph is kind of like our immune system. It helps to filter things out to then get shuttled to you know, the blood and the liver and kidneys to then get excreted out when we go to the bathroom. So I thought it was interesting that that popped up right around my clavicular lymph nodes, just above my collarbone on my neck. I knew what the triggers were. It was a lot of things happening in my life. I'd never had this before. And the way that I actually addressed it was being very diligent with my nutrition. A number of you know that I've been actually following a little bit more of a really high protein carnivore diet, anywhere from one to 1.5 grams of protein per pound of body weight. And that has served me very well for leaning out, for energy, for putting on muscle. So I just got really diligent in my diet and nutrition. Also, you can, I do highly recommend testing instead of guessing what you're eating. So if you need some help and guidance on that, just go to my biohacking page at theschoolofradiance.com and check out the Viome test, V-I-O-M-E, Viome, for their gut intelligence test. It's about $250, $75 or so. And it will just give you more insights into which foods are going to be most supportive for you to eat at this point. So this is the concept of testing instead of guessing. I've done testing for years dating back to about 2017. And then about 10 months ago, integrated a little bit more of the very high protein, a little bit more carnivore diet, and it's worked very well for me. Considering that though, when my diet at this time is about 90% carnivore and I would say 10 to 9% of the time, I'm kind of living, you know, in moderation. If I'm out at an event or at someone's home or, you know, time spent with friends and family and we're having different kinds of foods, I'll still have those different kinds of foods, but I definitely notice the difference with how I feel. And during that time, I, this year I actually wrote a nutrition paper for the skin. We're going to talk about, you know, clearing acne fast, pigmentation, skin redness fast as well with certain skincare products. But what I did find in my research on nutrition in the skin was that a lot of the foods that were previously really great for us, so say, for example, um, different types of greens, vegetables, fruits, certain grains, maybe even historically say in, in the generations before us, they actually had more nutrients, but because of agricultural practices and what's done uh, from the pesticide use to genetically modifying crops, this has actually made these food sources less nutrient dense. And if you want great skin, if you want to feel and look your best, because the show here is all about helping you both look and feel your best, you're not going to look good if you don't feel good. You're not going to feel good if you don't look good. They all go hand in hand. So eating the right foods, but also making sure that you're getting those key nutrients that the body requires that is very difficult to get from our food sources that we have, like in uh, vegetables and fruits and things like that. That is primarily why I've gone more carnivore is because I feel like my body's absorbing those nutrients and I see the differences in my skin with my ability to perform at the gym, with energy levels, with cognitive function, and just basically feeling and looking better with body composition. So I do want to encourage you all. Um, there are some key things that we do want to get in our diet, especially things like uh, greens and adaptogens. Adaptogens help the body manage stress. So last summer when I had that skin issue, I leaned into adaptogens and adaptogens help to support our adrenals and life, you know, stress is a sign of being alive, everybody. Let me know in the chat if you resonate with that one. Um, but what I do like to do is actually make sure I am hitting my targets for the nutrients that I need with the Organifi green juice here. So Organifi is a really great line that makes a number of different products. So the green juice is gonna just really in general help with body reset, stress support, 
because it has ashwagandha, moringa, matcha green tea, chlorella, spirulina, turmeric, red beet, lemon, and coconut water. Lots of really good things in here to give your body and your adrenals support so that you can continue to show up as your best version throughout the day. So the green juice is a staple for me. And then for just kind of like general skin hydration and glow to the skin, I really love the Organifi Glow formula. And this contains a really interesting mushroom called Tremella mushroom. And you've all heard of hyaluronic acid, right? I'm actually making a hyaluronic acid serum. But we also need to think about how we're hydrating our cells. So for some of you who may be challenged with some dry skin, especially this time of year, whenever we go through shifts in our seasons, and you're just noticing that your skin is a little kind of dry, but you're still drinking anywhere from 1.5 to 2.5 liters of water a day, obviously reverse osmosis and purified, you may want to consider adding the glow formulation from Organifi as well to support that more internal skin hydration. And I would say I do see the difference in my skin too. So that's the glow formula. And then the other thing that's really key to make sure that you're getting every single day, I'm already mentioned protein, but I also want to mention collagen. And we might think, oh, collagen, it's great for our skin. It's also great for muscle development. It's also great for your joints and just overall physical function. So I do love the Organifi collagen as well. And head on over to Organifi, O R G. A-N-I-F-I.com forward slash Varga and use promo code Varga to actually save a whopping 20%. Now, those of you with kiddos, I do want to encourage their easy greens for the kids. Um, it just has like a, a little bit of a different taste that, I, that they're going to love. The other thing to mention is energy. So to have great skin, our body actually does need energy and ATP, and you've heard me talk about that multiple times on the show, how we can do that on a cellular level. But one of the things I have actually noticed is kind of at the end of the day, we can feel a little bit tired. And one of the, th I don't take like a pre-workout or anything like that, but what I have done is played around with a couple of key nutrients. And th the reason I'm talking about this with clear skin is simply because when your body has the nutrients that it needs, your skin is going to be more clear. You're going to clear that acne faster, that hyperpigmentation from sun exposure, heat exposure, melasma is less going to be less likely to develop because there isn't this increased inflammation in the system because antioxidants help to empty that toxic bucket and adaptogens help you overcome stressful situations and support your adrenals. And if you're getting a little stressed out, your cortisol is going up. And one of the best ways to actually decrease cortisol, this is totally unrelated, but is relevant, uh, is actually maybe a little bit of honey. Just give yourself a little bit of sugar from honey, not like um, an unhealthy form of sugar, but maybe like a teaspoon of honey, say after exercise and things like that, that's something really helpful. But for a little bit of like midday energy before a workout, because I do want you guys to all be moving your body, exercising, lifting weights, doing some cardio, doing that stretching, maybe getting on your rebound trampoline if you have one, that's going to move your lymph. And when there's stagnant lymph, especially in the head and neck, that's when we can get some more breakouts to the neck, to the jawline, and we do need to move that lymph around. So for the body, it's easy because our skeletal muscle moves, moves that lymph, but for the head and neck, we do need to actually manually manipulate it so that new lymph can come in. It's almost like bathing the cells underneath your skin that you can see so that the skin that you do see a month later is looking healthier. It's looking more vibrant. It's glowing a little bit more and that pigmentation isn't quite so much. So yes, of course, skincare, laser rejuvenation, these are all components that support clarifying the skin, but it really is what you're doing internally as well. And for myself, uh, having been in the medical aesthetics industry as a double board certified aesthetic nurse specialist since 2011, I used to have to do rejuvenation all the time. And now I'm doing far less of it because I am incorporating these healthy living concepts and just different things I do in my life all the time. So the one for energy is the Shilajit. 
These are uh, kind of like a gummy. So if you're looking for something that's a bit of a sweet treat, the Shili Jeet gummies are really fantastic. I'll take two, maybe 20 minutes before a workout and I have so much energy. The Shila Jeet gummies are great for performance, energy and strength. And Organifi, they have a pretty sweet lineup of a lot of different things. I think they taste fantastic. Great people behind the company too. So Organifi.com forward slash Varga, promo code Varga to save 20%. So let me know in the chat if any of you are already using it and reaping the benefits and sipping on my coffee here with protein and collagen. The other thing to consider for having clear skin is something called autophagy. And autophagy is stimulated, say, when we do a fast or when we have some exposure to heat or cold. Autophagy is sort of like this cleaning house. So at every change of season, we typically do a little bit of a deep clean of our home. And I can suggest doing autophagy multiple times a week. So say, for example, when I'm sweating at the gym, when I'm getting in my sauna and sauning, and I'm going to tell you a story about last night, um, doing some cold exposure, which I do a little bit less, you do want to balance that heat and the cold. So cold shower in the AM, saunaing in the PM, or taking a really hot bath so that you're getting some sweat happening. Getting your body essentially a little bit uncomfortable can be something that's helpful for stimulating autophagy. It's clearing out those zombie cells. There's also senolytics that can support that too. Qualia makes a great senolytic product that I utilize um, about every 21 days. And you can find the Qualia senolytics on my biohacking page as well. That's a really good one. Um, so that's Qualia and qualialife.com forward slash Rachel with code Rachel, I believe is the code and the page for that, but everything's on my biohacking page, all my resources to help you out. The senolytics and the autophagy is really key. And I started to clue into this with pigmentation and melasma. When I started to kind of just, I think outside the box a little bit, you, many of you know, I'm a researcher. And so I really kind of think about things in the medical aesthetics world, also from the metabolic health, integrative, functional, and biohacking world, which is why you're here, because I have a bit of a unique perspective, and my fingers are on the pulse of essentially multiple different areas and niches for optimization and performance and longevity and getting the most out of life, right? Those are definitely going to be some tips you probably didn't think about. But getting back to melasma, basically, it's a, an accumulation of melanin in the skin. And for those of you who have experienced melasma, you experience it every spring or summer when the summer starts to come out. It's basically this cluster of melanocytes in the skin that the skin isn't clearing properly. They're just kind of hanging out there. So that's why I mentioned autophagy to essentially kind of clear, clean house. And fasting is going to do that too. You're also going to get a bit of a boost of human growth hormone. When you're fasting, say you wake up and you don't eat till one o'clock, just be really careful with fasting with your cycle. But fasting does do that. And the other day, I actually did a two-day fast. I was at a, a personal development faith-based event for three days. And for the two days, actually, honestly, I wasn't actually hungry. And fasting can be really cool, not just for the health benefits, but also for the mental, the emotional and the spiritual benefits as well. It's like this concept of getting emptied so that you can receive more, which is actually a really feminine way of looking at life and moving through life. Let me know in the chat if you're finding any of this interesting or if you're all like, oh my goodness, where is she going with this? But the autophagy, I think, is really key if you're struggling with melasma, bumping up those antioxidants, bumping up those things that are going to support your adrenals and the Organifi products, taking some senolytics like the Qualia products, getting some cold, getting some heat, maybe doing a fast. Those are all going to be good things. And, you know, people say nothing in life comes easy. I think that good things come when you have persistence and discipline, but also a good strategy for it too. So for those of you tuning in who've had your one-on-ones, you know, I give it to you straight and I basically give you what that strategy is. A couple of those sessions are still available. So 
it just depends on what my schedule is, but you can still book a one-on-one. -on -one. My, avail my availability is just a little bit different. In the fall tutorials, I do a really deep dive lesson on all these concepts, anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half, taking you through my home, how I integrate uh, biohacking through purification of air, water, lighting, electromagnetics, eating the right foods, detoxing, basically how this can look in your home. I think in a pretty ideal situation, but with strategy, not getting distracted with, you know, a fancy LED red light face mask or this, you know, sticker you put on your phone. So I wrote the research article. It's like, what are the most impactful things that we can modulate in our environment to help us have better skin, clearer skin, and also support reducing oxidative stress and longevity in general? both looking and feeling our best. That's really why I wrote that paper because I feel like so many people who are on this quest for health optimization, there's some stuff going on with their health. They know they got to shake things up a little bit and clean things up. That's really, um, it's hard to know where to start. And I hear this all the time. It can be kind of overwhelming where to start with all this stuff when you are beginning your health journey or when you want to kind of up level it a little bit. What I want to talk about next is acne. So if we're looking at the skin and we want clear skin, notice where and when your breakouts happen. If you're a woman, you're probably noticing them and you're still menstruating. You're noticing that you have a little bit of an uptick around that time of the month. You might also notice acne when you're a little bit kind of more stressed out or hormones are off a little bit, especially during perimenopause, menopause, and postmenopause. There's also um, what can be confused as acne, which is actually Morgellons, which is a parasitic infection. And I learned about that when I studied, started to study parasitology dating back actually to about 2019 and looking at skin issues that present when people have an active parasitic infection, which affects actually about 80% of you tuning in here. Laura says, thanks very much for the greens formula for stress. Yeah, that's the Organifi green juice. That one is great. Again, I just like, we kind of don't realize that, sure, we could be eating the right foods, but the foods that we're eating now are less nutrient dense. So you 100%, in my opinion, need to supplement these days. I think it's nearly impossible to get all of the key nutrients, vitamins, and cofactors to help the body with all of the different cellular and, met and metabolic processes. Huge fan of the Organifi products. So anyways, <laughs> enough, about, enough about that, but we do need to use products throughout our day to actually support us and make a difference. So notice when you're getting breakouts. Also notice where you're getting breakouts. Are you getting breakouts to your jawline, to your neck, to your back, to your buttocks. Cleanliness is next to godliness, everybody. I am a two bath kind of person gal. I take a rinse off in the AM, I take a rinse off in the PM. And for clear skin, I really do want to encourage you all to actually be rinsing off your cleanser completely. And the best way to do that is with fresh running water in the bath or the shower. Now in my tutorials, I do it over the sink. I end up having a bit of a water fight, but whatever. It's, it is what it is. We're having fun in the tutorials too. If you haven't joined one of my seasonal tutorials to learn how to use your products, definitely join now over at the school of radiance.com. We have a tutorial happening now that just started. So tune in live when we have the live tutorials or catch the replays at your convenience. And pretty much everybody tells me that takes it over the years that they end up rewatching things multiple times because they're just jam packed with knowledge, but I make this stuff fun. This is not YouTube tutorials, way more in depth, basic, advanced protocols, dermal rolling, hair growth strategies, uh, biohacking, planning your rejuvenation in the season as well. So notice where you have your breakouts, clean your sheets once a week, make sure you're sweating. So I love the sauna almost every night. And I don't think that you need to work out with a clean face. I wash my face and actually work out with my makeup on. Um, and just a tip here, if you are working out in the AM and you're driving to the gym or you're running outside and you haven't done your skincare yet, if that's you, you're very likely experiencing accelerated aging because the 10 to 30 minutes of working out outside or driving to wherever you're going to work out, you're getting sun exposure, you're getting LED exposure. So actually I do recommend that you do your skincare before actually doing your workout. 
based on the cumulative impacts of sun exposure as well. Not to mention, even just if you're working from home, you're still getting exposure to blue light and LED lights, which do impact the skin when you're on your computer, when you have some lighting. So even on those days, even in the darker, colder months, you still want to be using your sunscreen every day. So with breakouts, you should be clearing the redness after a breakout within a couple of days. If the redness post breakout is lingering, that's actually a sign that your body has, I would say, elevated levels of oxidative stress and inflammation. So if you cut yourself, how long does it take for that wound to heal? If you get a breakout, how long does it take for that redness to go away? Years ago, I had to laser my face after getting a breakout every month because they wouldn't go away. Now I don't have to. I still do lasers and other things, of course. However, I do notice that they're going away much faster. And that's, I would say, directly related to just me taking better care of myself. And every step of the day, making sure I'm breathing filtered air, drinking filtered water. I am not using my technology plugged in. So watching my EMF exposure, getting outside grounding, using a PEMF mat, eating the right foods for me that actually make me feel good. Not just a fad diet. That's really important, but I did want to give this carnivore situation a go. And I'm really happy with the results. I've done blood work. I've done hormone testing and everything's on point aside from my HTL being a little bit elevated, but that's kind of okay because that's actually the healthy cholesterol that we need for hormones. So every, we're all bio-individualistic. So that's why I can never say, you know, one thing is going to be great for everyone. And I don't think that you can even say that for anything, anything at all, because we all have different sort of levels of how full this toxic bucket is and autoimmune conditions, actually deaths of uh, unknown cause, which is kind of categorized as people who have autoimmune conditions, you know, not much is known about what's going on, and then they end up passing away. Those are doubling year over year, doubled in 2019, doubled again in 2022 in Canada. So that's why this purification approach is really important. The supportive approach is really important and staying dialed in with your body, mind, spirit, energy practices. And for me, that was working out more, 100%. So with breakouts, notice where they are. It's kind of like when you brush your teeth, we can get in this habit of skipping certain areas in our mouth, and then you might get a cavity in that area because you're not brushing or flossing there enough. It's just kind of a habit. Same thing goes with your skincare. Maybe you're not cleansing those areas where you're getting some breakouts. Maybe you're not exfoliating enough where you're getting those breakouts. And at the first sign of a breakout, I want you to do your cleanser. I want you to follow it up with your scrub as well. And I have some great options on my skin shop at alwaysradiantskinshop.com. And drum roll, please, everybody. The labels are finally done for my skincare line. The formulations are rock solid. I would go so far as to say that I would feel comfortable actually eating these products. And in fact, one of them you can, which is pretty darn cool. Uh, there's no preservatives. It's preserved with colloidal silver, which is pretty groundbreaking ionic silver. And for those of you tuning in, you've probably heard about silver before. There's lots of great things with that. And it's triple filter deionized water. Fresh, made to order, so they're not sitting in a, a bottle for like two years on the shelf before you get it as well. So I just am so blessed to have connected with a great chemist and a great lab that could finally bring my vision to life. And this is happening, and I'm so proud to put my name on this, everybody. I actually used my products uh, while I was doing the research and development period in the summer when I had that uh, experience of eczema on my neck and it went away in about five to seven days. That's my personal experience. Never had anything like that in my life. Was doing, I'm kind of like my own best testimonial here. <laughs> Actually, you know, thinking about it, it's, it's sort of funny how all this stuff works. It's like, you know, the funny synchronicities like, oh, okay, I finally experienced eczema, skin rash, first time in my life. And, oh, look at this. I've made some great products to fix it. Use it. It's gone. 
So that's my own best testimonial. Um, just, just an FYI there. So for breakouts, cleanse, exfoliate, carry on with your skincare. Avoid, even if, if you have some breakouts, I'd even go so far as to say, you know, hold off on anything active with retinols and peels and dermal rolling. I talk about that extensively in my tutorials as well. Kind of have a, how to weave that quote unquote skin cycling stuff in with your more advanced layers, with your basic protocol. So if the skin is kind of under a little bit of stress and you're noticing some things like breakouts, redness post breakout, hyperpigmentation, skin sensitivity and skin redness in general, I actually really want you to just lean into your basic protocol of cleansing, eye cream, moisturizer, sunscreen, and making sure that you're doing a scrub as well, two to five times a week. That's super key. Uh, for pigmentation, I do have the anti-aging dermal formula on my skin shop. That one does really work for pigmentation as well as skin redness. And it does give a little bit of a golden glow. I, I did a study for that company a couple years ago and it actually just about fell over when I saw the results because I don't typically fully trust claims that companies give me. And it's pretty cool that I was able to do a study for them. I'm actually doing two more studies as well for Primadine with Oxford Health, Oxford Health Span, and um, also by optimizers, which is pretty cool. And doing some photography analysis because of something you're taking from a nutrition perspective, a supplement perspective, antioxidant perspective, adaptogen perspective, electrolyte perspective. Also, I do have some great electrolytes now on my biohacking page. That's the true wild product. Love it. It's so good. It doesn't taste like salt, <laughs> which all the other electrolyte blends tend to taste like, which is gross. Uh, but if your body's under stress, you're noticing some skin stuff, lean into your self-care. Your body's telling you something. And I find when something's going on internally, the skin shows it. Uh, a couple weeks later and the skin cell cycle actually slows down as we age. Should be at about a month, but as we age, it can be extended to closer to more two months. So cellular renewal, autophagy are all great at kind of speeding up your genetic expression. And there's even some laser technologies too. So yes, for pigmentation, for skin redness, if you have skin redness and irritation, I've seen this across the board. People are usually only cleansing once a day. They're a water splasher, meaning they're not actually using a cleanser. They're just using like water in the AM. They're usually using a kind of like um, a cloth to wash their face as well instead of a cleanser usually using my cellular water and products that are really heavy in oils and they're not exfoliating. And they're also often not using a good sunscreen. So a couple of key things there and then boom, get them on a basic protocol, take their before photo in the clinic when they start on it, cleanse their moisturizer, sunscreen scrub. That's it. Two weeks later, maybe do like a hydrofacial or a laser or some other non-surgical rejuvenation uh, procedure. And it's across the board, more glowing skin, less skin redness, and just, you know, the, the patient reports that they feel like their skin looks better in the photos or they're proven. So it doesn't have to be complicated. If you're struggling with sensitive skin, you've got to have your basic routine dialed in. I'm more than happy to help you with that. You can learn how to apply those products in my tutorial as well. And I do highlight specific products in that too. And then really starting to get dialed in with your living and being as pure as possible really is the ticket in life. Being as pure as possible, not listening to terrible music, not watching shows that are, you know, giving you all sorts of things to be worried about and scared about, or just things that are kind of nonsense, like really focus on having and cultivate the discipline around this of living as pure as possible, like priestess style purification, I think is one of the best ways to kind of frame it with what you're eating, what you're doing with your time, who you're around, what you're choosing to do with your free time. Are you having, do you have hobbies? Are you having fun? Are you doing some of the personal development stuff that I teach it more in the membership? Are you doing any of those things that are constructive for you or on your downtime? Are you zoning out? You are numbing out with drugs or alcohol and you're just around the wrong people. Um, one of my lovely clients, Meredith, she shared with me that she was hanging out with this guy and she'd go over to her ha his house 
and then come back home and notice that she actually looked worse. And I thought, okay, yeah, there's a dog, so he's probably got parasites. Ah, it's a little smelly, so there's probably mold. But there's also probably some energetic and spiritual stuff happening with that person too. So these kind of things are things I consider when I decide to actually form connections with people and be around people. Um, the membership, I go really in detail in ways to kind of like clear that stuff out. That really does work for me to the effect I look different after I do them. And that, that might sound a little bit esoteric or woo, but this is really kind of these more advanced layers to the radiant stuff, which is the membership. So definitely join that. Hey, Delilah, speaking of membership, good to see you. Hi, I have the shower filter. I'm going to get into some questions now, by the way. But first question, before questions, if pigmentation, like brown spots, age spots, and skin redness and acne scarring and also other things that make the skin look less clear are like, say for example, broken capillaries like telangiectasia to the cheeks, to the corners of the nose, things like that. There are some lasers. There are some incredible technologies and uh, behind the scenes, I'm actually a trainer and speaker for what I would consider the best laser company in the world. This is like the Ferrari Rolls Royce of lasers compared to like the Hyundai of lasers. There are various different levels of quality with everything with our, our supplements, our food choices, our skincare, and also the rejuvenation that we receive, not to mention how it's applied, the rejuvenation I'm, I'm speaking to, the attention to detail of the practitioner who's doing it. So that's, that's really a whole other topic in a one-on-one, -on -one, in the tutorials, in the membership, I really get into depth of what the best technology is and the research behind that. But there are some things that you can do in a med spa that can help with pigmentation, but I just don't want you to kind of try and do the research yourself and look for the best price. Um, that The best technology is actually the more expensive technology, but here's the deal you typically need fewer treatments of it. And a lot of clinics these days, because I actually do med spa marketing for to help other practitioners like myself learn to show up online and grow their med spas, that's buildingyourbeautybrand.com. I do that with a colleague of mine, um, Christy Legorg, and actually a number of listeners here I work with and support who are also practitioners who uh, Chris was just on the show actually. And so she's a prime example of a woman who is helping people both look and feel their best, but she needs people to help find her. So there is a component to when you are in this practitioner sort of like healing health space that to have people actually find you, you have to develop this confidence, know-how and strategy to actually show up online. So if you're listening, you're a practitioner, buildingyourbeautybrand.com, I would love to meet you on our next live training. All right, so now that I've talked about the fact that rejuvenation treatments do exist, I highly want to emphasize that doing your basic skincare routine first, cleaning up your lifestyle in general is so important, but most people don't do that. They just call up a clinic and say, hey, I have some sunspots or hey, I have some acne scarring. What can I do about it? You want to do the heavy lifting first actually at home, in my opinion, before even investing in in-clinic rejuvenation because when you do the heavy lifting at home you're preparing your skin you're re-establishing your skin barrier and you're also reducing sensitivity that you might have right now that might actually make you a little bit more sensitive to the laser but also the healthier you are the more empty your toxic bucket is that's why i wrote that research paper on oxidative stress status and its impacts on the skin the healthier you are the better result you're going to get from your rejuvenation if you have underlying higher levels of inflammation, you're probably going to have a prolonged recovery in regards to, you know, redness, puffiness, dark spots looking darker for longer sort of thing, bruising, swelling, pain, all those things. So that paper, actually the, the editor of the journal, I'm also on the board of that journal. She said, we should have made that a CME safety credit piece because it's so good. That's what she said. And I was so proud to hear that because as a practitioner, when we have to do our, our continuing medical education credits every year, especially for my double board certification in aesthetics, 
it's actually hard to get those safety credits. Um, so that's why I wrote it because practitioners often don't know or really have an awareness on how to identify what the skin is telling us when it's not clear, when the eyes are red, when the eyes are puffy, when there's skin redness to the cheeks and around the mouth, when the acne is you know, rearing its ugly head and it's taking forever to go away and it just keeps happening. There's some internal stuff that need to be done first. And I'm just super passionate about elevating patient-centered care and not having the med spa industry be just oh, here, show up, let's do a package of six of this, package of six of this. If you want the best results, you need, you want to do the heavy lifting first with your lifestyle and your skin, your skincare. And then also, um, I'm really passionate about reducing adverse events. So people that say have had issues from non-surgical rejuvenation, injectables or lasers, there quite possibly could be that component of elevated oxidative stress that they didn't know about, their practitioner didn't really have an awareness on, they just kind of think about the the common things that people might have that are going to be a contraindication to getting rejuvenation, such as different autoimmune conditions, seizures, being on certain medications, having different things going on in their health history. That they don't really take into consideration with how is that person today? How are you feeling? Are you in a good mental state or are you stressed out? Your, your pain receptors are probably going to be a rejuvenation treatment could actually be more painful for you too. I have seen that in a woman who came to see me, who um, she came in, she sat in my chair and she started to talk about all the news that she watched on TV and you know, the woes of the world, the stress of the world. And I'm telling you, her response to pain was elevated. I could barely even continue the treatment for her because her cortisol was so elevated. You want a cheap free hack to help you feel better physical touch, hugging. Ladies, we need like six to 10 hugs a day. If you're living by yourself, if you're single, you need to get that physical touch because that gives you that boost of oxytocin and dopamine, which will decrease your cortisol. Lesson one in my membership is this whole deep dive. It's an hour and a half lesson of all the different things that you can do in your life to help manage hormones, to help balance them. Because at the end of the day, hormones run the show. Also, by decreasing cortisol, you're not going to have that stressed out cortisol stressed face. So if you have some puffiness to your face and it's going to make decreasing cortisol will allow building muscle and leaning out be much easier. Very, very interesting. This is actually something that's even seen in the bodybuilding world is that um, athletes who are in partnerships and are getting that physical touch and intimacy, they actually can perform better. That's pretty cool, actually, if you think about it. And you might not have thought about that, that how do you reduce stress? Get that physical connection with your beautiful partner and your committed relationship. Hug your friends, hug your family, meet somebody, shake hands, all that good stuff. We need this, we need this contact, we need this connection to not only look great because of the concepts that I just mentioned, easier to put muscle on, easier to, to, to lean out, but also to get that oxytocin and dopamine up so you feel better and have fun. Have fun doing something that you enjoy, like pickleball with my girlfriends on Sunday afternoon, all sorts of different things. Do things that bring you more joy and you have more fun. Okay. Let's open it up for some questions here. We went all over the place, but the reason why I went all over the place with this concept on having more clear skin is because it's not going to be one thing. If you consume some type of content from somebody out there that says, oh, you got skin redness. Oh, use this magical cream, right? No, there's so many layers with your basic layers of keeping that really dialed in, cleanser, moisturizer, sunscreen, scrub, reducing your oxidative stress, really clearing things out in your entire life from a purification approach is so incredibly key. Most people just aren't willing to do the work and they think, oh, if I buy this because this ad made me feel ashamed or this ad made me feel that if I don't have this, I'm missing out or this ad made me feel a fear of missing out because everybody's using it. Like AG1, do you remember AG1? It came under fire recently. And I didn't jump on the bandwagon because I want to work with companies that are very well established 
and great people behind them and make great products, which is why I actually stuck to the Organifi green juice during, you know, all this AG1 stuff. So not to put down another company or anything like that, but it just goes to show you that just because something's trendy, everyone's getting paid to talk about it. Oh, everybody's using it. I should use it too. Feedback I heard was that it doesn't taste good. I don't want to taste something. That, I don't want to consume something that doesn't taste good, right? Even if I am eating a bowl of a pound of bison or ground beef or venison and four eggs, I still feel like that actually tastes good to me because my body really wants it. I'm going to talk about what I did last night and why I don't feel fantastic today. <laughs> This is real life, guys. Okay, questions. Delilah. Hey, Delilah, fellow tutorial and member and one-on-one -on -one client. Love you so much. Hi, I have a shower filter, but not a filter for my bathtub. I want to start incorporating a detox bath, but the, the water is not filtered, purified. Is that okay? Interesting you say this about baths. So I was at this, you know, faith-based personal development event all weekend. And for the first time, I came across a woman who knew about chlorine dioxide. That's all I'm going to say about that for some specific reasons. Uh, but there are some baths that you can take. Um, one of my favorites is borax, baking soda, and Epsom salt. So two cups of Epsom salt, one cup of borax, one cup of uh, organic non-GMO super clean baking soda. I was doing that a lot, but I actually now kind of prefer using the sauna for detoxing. And I'm in that thing every night. I actually fell asleep in it last night. So there's a story there actually. Anyways, um, if you're wanting to make sure that your water in your bath and your shower filter, you have a shower filter. You, the only way to do that is to do a whole home water filtration system and pH purifiers, which is on my biohacking page, has it. Those are a couple thousand dollar investments. They're not cheap. So if you're in a rental, uh, one of the things you could do, and I actually learned this from Nadine Artemis, who's been on the show before. Um, you can actually just, great tip from her. Thanks. God bless you. Nadine, love you. She's a straight up angel, by the way. Uh, from living libations just a beautiful soul and makes the best perfume if you want some great perfume she's got some great products but she she actually said oh i fill my bathtub up with the water that comes out of my shower filter so that's kind of a, a more affordable hack if you don't have the money to do a whole home water filtration system um, Delilah, the Organifi Greens product has ashwagandha. Do we need to cycle on and off ashwagandha? Have you come across anything that suggests that that's necessary? One of the things that I do with my supplements is I do cycle them to kind of see if they make a difference. So some nights before bed, I actually won't take my supplements and then I'll take a look at my sleep scores and they're never as good. Or I remember one time I did a parasite cleanse because there is one that I do every 21 days as well. I talk about that one in the membership exclusively simply because they're, uh, it's a little controversial and just not comfortable sharing what I actually do publicly for a couple of different reasons. But I had cycled off my antioxidants. So my toxic buck was a little full. I go and do a parasite detox cleanse and then I had Herxheimer's. I was literally flat out in bed for two days I felt like this must be what it's like for someone who struggles with Lyme's disease. Full body aches, flat out in bed, zero energy, had to clear the deck for two days. But I never had that before, but I was cycling off some of my uh, key supplements and antioxidants that I typically take, like the anti-aging dermal formula, like the Qualia Skin, like the various Organifi products. But cycling off nutrients, there's some things that you can actually do, um, and I've taught this to Alexandra, who's in the membership. Um, there is an ability, actually, when you become a member, to text me your questions. And this is, like, pretty much invite only because there has to be some good boundaries around that, obviously, because I don't even like being on my phone, right? I'm sure you can imagine. Um, but there are some ways that I can give you a little bit more support behind the scenes, too. So if you want that and you're a member reach out to me and we'll talk. So I don't cycle my adaptogens. I feel like ashwagandha. I feel like they're really important for me to take ongoing because stuff always comes up in life and adaptogens are going to support your stress response to your adrenals. Cool.
cold plunging, very important to hone the skill of toning your vagus nerve so that when you are exposed to a little bit more of a stressful environment situation, people place thing kind of thing, um, you don't have that spike in adrenaline and cortisol. You have more of that spike in noradrenaline, which is more focused eyes on the target. Lesson one of the membership, huge deep dive on this. You're going to love it when you join. Angie, love this approach. Hey, Angie, when I was stressed in my last job, my skin didn't look as good. Absolutely. Absolutely. So if we're, we're exactly what I was talking about. So when we're in a situation that we know isn't the best for us, maybe it was good for you for a time. This is career. This is personal stuff. This is where you live, the home you're in. Maybe that home has mold. Maybe the people you're working with is just a toxic environment. Maybe the relationship you're in is not as healthy for you, or maybe you've outgrown it, right? This, this stuff does happen. People change. What I would say is if you do feel like you're kind of at that point where you need to make a decision on something, think long and hard about it. The energy it takes to make a decision is really the most amount of energy that the a transition process is going to take. But then it's actually doing it. And then you're in the transition process that you still have to stay resilient in. And one of the key components to radiance is always being ready. So taking your adaptogens from Organifi, always being resilient and then always being radiant no matter what, even when life is tough. So last summer I woke up one day, cleaned house, literally in every area of my life, huge shifts. Then I woke up one day, I was like, why do I look so good? <laughs> I honestly should look like I am a hot mess, uh, a dreary drab hot mess, but I didn't. Why is that? It's because I take such good care of myself and they were the right decisions to make. It was tough being in the transition process. So for those of you going through stuff, just really lean into your self-care. Avoid the drugs and alcohol. Alcohol, you might think, oh, I need to just chill out. I kind of need to numb out. Don't do that. That's actually one of the worst things you can do is if you are in a stressful event to do things that are not good for you to eat and consume or listen to or watch. I don't even watch Netflix or Amazon Prime or anything like that. I just dive into personal development stuff. It's like, how can I be better? This is, this is, um, I would say more healthy things to do when you are going through transitions is just tuning into yourself, getting to know yourself better and grow and learn new skills so that you can navigate things with more beauty, with more grace, with more feminine energy, supporting, you know, your partner, all those things, being a better mom, all that. So that's really what the membership is all about. It's those strategies that I do that have just made a huge difference in my life, but also what I see work for beautiful men and women who are in their 60s to 90s, right? They've been around the block. They don't have time for BS anymore. They cut to the chase. They have better boundaries. But there are some things that are going through those stages in life that happen in the 60s to 90s that are just glowing. And they look younger. Like one lady I met with, I thought she was in her 50s. And then my girlfriend, Debbie, who we just met, made lots of great, uh, more mature girlfriends. I'm 38 and they're all in their 50s. And well, she was 72. She looked so much younger. She was so cute. Um, someone had a little bit of a tummy upset and she said, oh, do you want some digestive enzymes? It was so adorable. Actually, she knew what chlorine dioxide was, which is pretty cool. And she's been looking after herself for a long time. So the longer you look after yourself, essentially, the better you're going to look, the better you're going to feel. Lift weights, lift or be lifted. Lift weights, build your muscle up or be lifted with a diaper when you're older. <laughs> I really uh, didn't beat around the bush with that one. Okay, Sarah, can all of this be applied to teens as well? I've been an esthetician for 20 years and feel like I'm at a complete loss with treating my daughter's acne. Depends what's going on with your daughter. I mean, teens are like a walking hormone. Seriously, they are a walking hormone. But what's the root cause of it? It's not just likely going to be skincare. I am happy, uh, Sarah, to make some suggestions on some products that could be helpful for your daughter. So book a one-on-one. -on -one. Also, what's cool is in the tutorials, um, mothers and daughters can get kind of like dual access and go through them together. Because sometimes what I find with the youngsters 
once the parent has had the one-on-one, -on -one, the youngsters don't want to really hear the info from their mom. They actually want to hear it from somebody else. So I have uh, utilized on many occasions the 30-minute follow-up that's available only for one-on-one -on -one clients for the youngster to just kind of like reinforce healthy habits and things like that. But all this stuff definitely applies. So my why, my why of why I'm here right now, why I have this show, why I show up is not only to benefit ourselves, but future generations. We need to lead by example. We need to live by example. We will thrive in this space. And then other people are going to notice you're thriving too and say, what are you doing? And then you can share one or two things and uh, not, you know, the whole biohacking fire hose. You don't want to be that person at the dinner table that just seems to know absolutely everything. No, you're going to overwhelm someone. And that's also poor etiquette. If you're kind of oversharing, over talking, and then you look at people and they kind of have that glazed look or they're kind of fidgeting, they're giving you these signals that they're not really into this conversation. It's really interesting <laughs> when I converse with people and they don't pick up on social cues uh, in conversation. That's just etiquette stuff. That's membership stuff that I get into. So for your daughter, Sarah, it's hard to tell. There could be some things, but the, the other component here that I'm really passionate about is having the parents have really dialed in routines and not going to places like CVS and Sephora to pick up these really toxic products or for teens buying all these products online through ads and um, products that are highlighted on, say, TikTok by their favorite influencers. I have honestly seen products marketed to teens that have tin and BPA and DNA, whatever the heck that means, legitimately in a Sephora product marketed to teenagers. Tin, BPA, and DNA. Why on earth is that kind of stuff being allowed to be purchased and marketed to youngsters? So it comes down to you. It comes down to you as the adult here to teach healthy living practices to your youngsters so that the next generation is not hooped with this doubling of autoimmune conditions. They're better people. They're, they're healthier. They know how to navigate life because their hormones are operating better. Their brain's operating better. They can have better relationships. For those of you tuning in here, one of the most heartbreaking things is probably with your kid going through a really tough time, both personally and professionally. Wouldn't it be great if you were able to teach these skills to your kiddos? That's why I'm so passionate, especially about the membership, because that's exactly what it is. It's my why there is to support the generation now, but also the legacy of our future generations. And y'all know I'm going to be a great mom too. All right. Beata, you said to wash and prep your skin even before your workout. No, I actually, oh, sorry. If it's in the AM and you're working out first thing in the, in the AM, yeah, definitely do your typical skincare and then work out. You can rinse off the body, but the makeup that I suggest and recommend and highlight how to apply in a really beautiful uh, look, kind of like what I'm doing now, uh, camera ready, it, it is sweat proof, it's waterproof, it's going to be good to go for the rest of the day. After your workout, should I wash my face again? I would say, uh, don't bother, just wash it at the end of the night. Laura, Rachel, thanks so much for all your great information. It's been a pleasure to tune in this evening to your Zoom. I need to leave shortly. I follow you on IG. Laura, Scotland, UK, holistic therapist and acupuncturist. Aw, thank you so much for that, Laura. Um, yeah, so two components here. Legacy for the younger generations, but also to impact the practitioners that are helping people other people both look and feel their best. I know what it feels like to make a difference in people's lives. And what's been possible for me with going from practitioner to teacher to speaker, trainer, all these things, all these incredible opportunities that have really made a big difference in my life, both kind of from a validation perspective, um, author of academic research papers, but also from a financial perspective too, and just working with the right clients that are, and attracting the right clients that you can make the most impact with. Nobody is going to be perfect for everybody. Perfection doesn't exist. Nothing is perfect for everybody. Perfection doesn't exist, but discipline, perseverance, 
and strategy do. So for you, fellow practitioner, Laura, I would love to meet with you and get you busy in your practice and help people find you over at buildingyourbeautybrand.com. That's where I can make a, an impact in your life so that you can impact other people's lives even more. So I'm helping with like the families and the kiddos, but I'm also helping with the practitioner. I think it's kind of cool for you to know my why. And I don't think I've been open and transparent enough about that. Why this is so important though, that I'm actually, I have the courage and the clarity of, oh, what am I doing with my life? Well, this is what I'm doing with my life. To thrive, be beautiful, be radiant. We need to have clarity on who we are, what we're here to do, what are our passions, what's our life mission, and how can we do all this in a way that isn't going to be too stressful for us, that is going to actually work well with our operating systems, from genetic testing to personality testing to all sorts of different things that we can basically get metrics on and learn more about ourselves so that we can support and work on certain areas of our lives that are going to allow us to show up and make a difference, make an impact. If you're a stay-at-home mom, you have, I would say, argue, the most important responsibility out there. If you are working in a professional capacity, every time you're serving someone, look at it as you're serving them. Go through life with the service mentality. You are going to be better able to help other people put their oxygen mask on when you put your oxygen mask on first. Self-care is not vanity. Get over yourself. Get over your thought process if you think this stuff all about having clear skin and looking beautiful and taking the time to exercise and spending the money on things that are going to help you both look and feel better. It's not just for you but it's going to be for the people that you share your home with and that you share your life with too. So you can show up, say better things, make better choices in life. You make choices out of integrity. It's going to build confidence, building our community. Important. We need those hugs. We need that dopamine and oxytocin, get that through, you know, healthy things like physical touch and things like hobbies and having fun, have fun, everybody. Angie, thank you. Great info. My absolute pleasure. Love you all so much. I'm actually going to be getting back into these live Q and a sessions because I want to get a sense of really what you're resonating with more and also your questions and and show up. I just, Hey Suki, great to see you. I am. I just hadn't had the, the time and availability to do it earlier this year. So excited to get back here and uh, just really show up in a meaningful way to provide as much value and be of service to as many of you as possible who are willing to listen and actually willing to do the work. Because when you do it, you're going to see the results. You're going to feel better. You're going to look better. I'm my own best testimonial. Stay tuned for my skincare. It's coming. So excited. I'm so grateful. I'm glad it didn't work out with that other lab, to be totally honest, because I met another chemist with another lab that was able to do some more really sophisticated things, like literally things that with processes and different types of equipment that actually allow my products to be made without preservatives and non-GMO. Super proud about that one as well. Love you all so much. Have a beautiful high high rest of your day. Head on over to theschoolofradiance.com. Book your one-on-one, join my tutorial, join my membership, purchase skincare products from me because when you support me, it continues to allow me to show up and create content like this, send and receive. Also, if you try and kind of like piecemeal, healthy living, healthy skin stuff, rejuvenation stuff, that's going to take you a lot of time and money. So invest a little bit of time with me to save you more time and money. All right. Love you all so, so much. I'm so proud of you all for joining here. And uh, for those of you catching the replay too, love you all so much, you know, buy the stuff I talk about. I spend a lot of time and energy pre-betting these companies. I do have that cons, that ability to get to know these people, CEOs and founders of companies behind the scenes, get a read on them, want to work with them or not too. So I, I take all that stuff into account too, when I take the time to recommend something to you, because I know it helps me. And it's also then supporting other good companies that are doing other good things. All right. Love you all so much. I'll see you again right here on the School of Radiance podcast.